All right, guys, next app to review on our Android phone here is Kaspersky Antivirus and Security. So I am reviewing a lot of the antivirus apps on the Play Store. And I think this one has uh, one of the best reviews, 4.7 with 10 million downloads. Let's go ahead and uh, look down here and see what the reviews are saying, see what people are saying about it. Easy to use, much like its desktop counterpart. Hmm. Best antivirus, useful, good security, great protection, nice user interface. We'll take a look and see if that's true. All right, let's go ahead and install it and take a look at it. It is uh, 35 megabytes, so this might take a while, depending on your connection. All right, it's downloaded and ready to open now. We're going to go ahead and open it. Access to system features. Allow access to phone and storage. Okay, continue. Uh, secure and manage phone calls. Wow, it can do that? For now, we'll say allow just to see how that works. Allow. We'll let it do everything for the sake of reviewing this. All right, United States. Accept and continue. I don't even know what I just accepted there, guys. Maybe I just accepted to to hand over my life or something. All right, starting Kaspersky Internet Security. All right. Mm, I'm gonna skip this. And we're gonna use the free version. You can also buy it. All right, ready to scan. Now Kaspersky Internet Security will run the first database update. So Kaspersky, the free version, lets you have a database update. We were re reviewing um, NQ Mobile Security, and they didn't let you have the updates unless you bought the the, uh, the version that you buy. In the free version, they didn't even let you freaking uh, get updates. But anyway. It looks like it's scanning my device right now. It's updating, scanning. Now that's a big shield button right there. Nice looking one too. Scanning. That's cool how it fills up. So I think, yeah, the, the interface looks pretty easy to use, man. Now I see why in the reviews they're saying it was easy to use. So it's still scanning right now. So the scanning is taking a while while we wait for this. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the features here. If you tap on this uh, upward arrow, you should be able to see all the features. As you can see, it's still scanning. You can update real-time protection, call and text filter. I wonder how that works. That sounds pretty interesting, the call and text filter. Anti-theft, text anti-phishing, web protection, privacy protection, and of course the settings. Let's go to the update section here and we're going to go ahead and update it. Cool, it's updated. Let's take a look at the real-time protection feature here. Now we're using the free version. I don't think we're going to be able to use this with the free version because if we click on get all features, yeah, purchase license. So we won't be able to use that with the free version. Let's go back. Call in text filter. I wonder how that works. The call in text filter functionality of sending and receiving messages may not work as intended. You have to agree that before you <laughs> run that feature. That's funny. For call in text filtering to block unwanted contacts and text messages, grant Kaspersky Internet Security requested permissions. So you have to uh, grant Kaspersky permissions to your contacts and to all of that to be able to use this and to be able to send messages. Okay, so here is where you can so you can add and you can block text messages, you can block calls, or you can block calls and text messages from any number you want. Cool. That's pretty cool. So the anti-theft, let's see how that works. When this device is lost or stolen. Use my Kaspersky portal or SMS commands to remotely turn on an alarm on the device. 
lock and locate it, wipe information from it, or take a mugshot of the person currently using your device. <laughs> I love that. That is so cool, man. So you got to let them use your location, your calendar, and take pictures. And you got to make an account to be able to use this feature, guys. But that's pretty cool, man. I like that anti theft. The anti phishing, you have to buy the full version for that. Web protection, got to buy that. So the ones you see in yellow, you, we can't use. Let's go to settings and see what's in there. So we got our scanner, anti theft settings, call and text settings, additional settings. We're using the free version license. Here you can turn off or on the notifications. So the scan completed, no threats detected. Now if, if you click on here on get real time protection, it's going to take you to uh, to purchase one. So just help, go ahead and hit OK. So here in the additional settings, you can go ahead and turn on or off notifications, sounds, and informational messages. You can also uninstall the app from here. You can look at reports, watch, and then about the app. All right, so that's pretty much it for this app. It is pretty user friendly, guys. Device is protected, it's updated. I recommend you go on here every, once a week and hit the update button here and let it update. What I really like about this is the call and text filter where you can block people. I really like the anti theft function too. If somebody steals it, you could just take a mugshot of the person. That is so cool. I like that. Cool, you even get mail here. Let's check it. Let's take a look here. It's just a mail uh, message saying thanks for using us. All right, cool. So I like this. I like it. I really do. I got to give this. Um, it's the free version. Man, I got to give this. Uh, I got to say about four and a half stars out of five for being the free version. Because for being a free version of antivirus, you get the antivirus. You get the call and text blocker, and you get the anti-theft also. That's pretty cool. I really like this. I really do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of my next Android videos. Have a good one.